How do we expand a binomial to a third power? Of course, we can just write this down three times and multiply it out, but that will take too long. Let me show you guys how we can use Pascal's triangle to help us out. Check this out. We first start with one, and then next row, we do one, one, and then you always begin with one, all right? And then for this row right here, we have this one already, and for this number, we add this and that together, which is two, okay? And then you end with one. We are not there yet because we want the third power, so we want to go to one more row. Technically, this is the zeroth row, and then the first, the second, and then we need a third row. And we will have, again, one, and then we do this plus that, which is three, this plus that, which is three, and then just one. One easy way to remember is, when you have three, you want to see the three right here, all right? So now, these right here are the coefficients, and let me show you how we can use that. One, three, three, one. I'm just going to come here and then just write down one, three, three, one, with gaps in between, of course, because this is how we are going to fill in the gaps. The first time is x, and then it's to the third power. So go ahead and start with x to the third power, and then we go to the next term, and the power goes down by one. So we have x squared, and then again, x to the first power, and lastly, no x. All right, and then once we are here, the second term is 2, yeah? So I'm going to start with 2 right here, and it's multiplying 2 to the third power, and then we go back, and each time the power goes down by 1. So multiply by 2 to the second, multiply by 2, and then multiply by no 2s. And we are almost done. Pay attention to the sign here. This is just a sum, right? So we're just going to add them up. So we just have addition, addition, addition. And finally, we'll just multiply things out. Here we have just x to the third power, and then this is 2 times 3, so we have 6x squared, and this is 4 times 3, which is 12x, and lastly, 2 to the third power is 8 times 1, doesn't matter, of course. So, this right here is it. Now, for the second one, we have x minus 3 to the third power. The steps are the same, let's go ahead and just make that work. We have 1, 3, 3, 1. Then we start with three, uh, x to the third power, x squared, x to the first, and no x. And then I'm just going to look at the 3 right here, multiply by 3 to the third power, multiply by 3 to the second power, multiply by 3 to the first power, and multiply no 3. Now, here's the thing. How are we going to put on a sign when we have a subtraction here? The quick way to remember it is the alternates. So you see the positive right here, the next one will be minus, and then it alternates, so plus, and then minus, just like that. Why though? Well, if you take negative 3 to the third power, that will give you negative, that's why. Negative 3 to the second power is positive, yeah, same thing. But I think the correct way to do it is just make sure you alternate the sides like this. And lastly, we just have to multiply it out, and we will get x to the third power, this and that is 9, and then we have x squared, this is 9 times 3, we have 27, and then again, 3 to the third power is 27 times 1, and that's minus, oh, it's 27x, there, yeah, so this right here, where it, you see, so much simpler, and if you wonder, how do we do it if we have the fourth power? Well, you can check out my other video for 